rich guys go on wild spending sprees. But broke guys can't always afford that. Thomas is having an ordinary morning. He has so much money that he can afford a personal maid. She puts a silk robe on him and brings some freshly brewed coffee straight from Brazil. It seems like Thomas doesn't even know how to make the bed. But he knows the way to his businessman dad's office. He needs to ask for his allowance. Yesterday's stack ended too quickly. Dad, this happens every day. The only thing that wakes Martin up in the morning is an alarm clock. He's renting a room. He sleeps on a mattress on the floor. He definitely doesn't have a maid. There's not even a separate bathroom. So he needs to get creative. A wardrobe? He doesn't have the room. Just clean up and you can run to school. But before college, he has to go to his part-time job. It's not very prestigious. But at least they pay him. And now, time for school. And Thomas is still relaxing in a cafe. He has a strict schedule. First a drink, oh. and then college. Thomas and Martin are studying together. But it's like they are in different worlds. Thomas is always surrounded by admirers. Everyone wants a rich boyfriend. Martin can't relate. But not everyone is interested in money. This is Polly. And it seems like she likes Martin. But Thomas isn't used to rejection. He won't leave her alone. And he won't take no for an answer. Baby, do you want to see my fancy yacht? Sorry, Polly isn't interested. That's weird. Mm. Other girls like it. Okay, that didn't work but he can still pull this off. Okay, Polly doesn't like yachts, but maybe she would want to go on a walk? Nice, Polly said yes. And she's already on the hook. Thomas thinks he's about to win. The next wow. step is to give Polly a fancy gift. This gold chain will definitely take over her heart. Wow, Thomas clearly spared no expense. But for Polly, all this luxury is too much. Oh, it's so heavy. But Martin doesn't have any extra money. And he needs to give Polly a gift. Hmm? What's that? Look. Well, well, well. What can I give her? Oh, a wire. It made a very nice wow. ring. So romantic, right? It's the thought that counts. <sighs> Thomas asked Polly out to a cafe. If you are going on a date with Thomas, be prepared for everything to be super fancy. Welcome to the best restaurant in town. Wow, it's really classy. Except the food is kind of weird. Black spaghetti? It doesn't oh. look very good. And what is this? Black caviar? Well, uh... Blech. This dish is definitely not worth the price. To each their own, I guess. Maybe Polly should just have water. Rich people are so weird. Why overpay for a cafe when you can have a nice picnic in the countryside? A river, fresh air, 
birds. Uh, I thought you invited me to a cafe. Hold on. If I cover the rock with a blanket, we'll get a soft space to hang out. It is really cute. But I'm hungry. Don't worry. Voila! Delicious mm. noodles from a Thai restaurant. Mmm, this is so good. And no uptight waiters and weird food. Holly loves outdoor activities. And rich guys prefer fancy sports. Well, let's play tennis. Why are you just standing there? Go to your side of the court and let the games begin. Wow! Nice serve! What a tense game! Hey, what was that? That's not how I play. Yeah, looks like Thomas isn't ready for Wimbledon. Bring in the replacement. Thomas is too lazy to deal with Polly. His coach can handle her. And Thomas will be the judge. No way. Polly doesn't like this date. But with Martin, she can relax. This isn't a tennis court. It's just a normal playground. But who cares? Martin is going to give her a workout master class. Wow! How many pull-ups can you do? You are so strong! Come on, Polly. It's your turn. Don't be scared. Come on. Let me help you. Polly can do anything with Martin's support. Wow, that was cool. Maybe we should do it again sometime? Wow, whose fancy limousine is this? Baby, why are you even asking? Get in, I'll give you a ride home. This is so cool. I have never been inside a limo. The trip is probably going to be very enjoyable. But Polly didn't oh. say yes to hugging. Hey, slow down! Oh, we are finally here! Thanks, Thomas, but I'll walk from here. Martin also has his own transport. It's reliable and fast. Hey. His bike! Oh, Polly, can I give you a ride? Well, it's not far. But okay. She doesn't want to say no and hurt his feelings but she has a great time. It's not as comfortable as the limousine, but it's easy and fast. In a couple of minutes, Holly is home. Thanks for the ride. Bye-bye. See you at college. Holly is in a rush to get to class. Wow, Thomas, is that for me? It's always nice to get flowers, especially such a huge bouquet. It seems like Thomas isn't giving up hope that he'll be able to get Polly. But Martin won't give up either. He put on a bow tie today, but it's made of paper. And here's Polly. Here you go, this is for you. He doesn't have any money, but he has plenty of imagination. So he made an unusual bouquet of paper. Handmade flowers? Very nice. And most importantly, they'll never wilt. Another school day. Oh no, it seems like Polly forgot about the math test. It's tomorrow, and I'm not ready at all. What should I do? Will Martin leave his crush in a bad situation? Never! Let me help you. He is so nice. Here comes Thomas. Nikki, get out of my way. Is there a problem? Thomas can also be nice, but he's used to solving all his issues with money. Hmm, that's an interesting approach. Whether you want it or not, you have to study for the test. Who's there? Oh, Thomas wasn't going to solve anything. His tutors will do it for him. He has a whole army of them. Polly didn't expect that. Hey, can you talk one at a time? I don't understand anything. And Martin has hours of studying ahead of him. He can't afford any tutors, so he has to solve everything himself. Poor guy, he doesn't even have a place to study. 
But when you really need to, you can even study under the stairs. Who cares if I haven't slept for 24 hours? As long as Polly doesn't get a bad grade. And it wow. seems like she's happy. What should you do if a girl invites you to an exhibition but you don't have any money? Get creative! You can be a model yourself! The camera is there! We just need to find a nice setting for our photo shoot! Let's go! Polly has definitely never been on a date like this! Smile! And again! You're gorgeous! And when the pictures are ready, you can create a whole album of masterpieces! It's a good thing we didn't go to that boring exhibition! Thomas loves art too! And he's happy to bring Polly to an exhibition in his name! She can look around as much as she wants! This is unexpected! Is it a photo exhibition? Or a museum of self-love? Oof! Martin's imagination is running strong! Today, he and Polly are sailing paper boats in the park! He makes life so interesting! Polly is so happy! Thomas also likes boats! He even has one! Not a paper one! A real one! Red sails? It looks great on this yacht! Fruits, drinks, gorgeous views! Oh no! I'm seasick! <laughs> no, seriously, yachts are not my thing! When you don't have money to go to a concert, you need to take everything into your own hands! Oh. We are about to hear a garage band! But Martin is great at playing guitar! Oh, that's awesome! Oh. It seems like Martin got his first fan! Polly went on so many dates, and it's so hard to make a decision! Martin or Thomas? Money or love? It's obvious! Oh. Love wins! Did you like our video about a poor guy and a rich guy? Which one seemed more romantic to you? Write us a comment about it! And don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you don't miss any new videos about different types of guys on Troom Troom Select!